Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is the 8th video of Windows Server 2016 step by step tutorial tutorials and in this video I am going to show you how to restore backup from Windows Server 2016 so in last video we have taken the backup from uh, Windows Server backup for our server machine so here is the idea about my infrastructure I have one domain uh, domain controller which is Win2K16 DC01 and I have promoted this server as a domain controller you can see and verify here Active Directory and DNS is installed on this server and our last video we have installed the backup windows server backup and we have taken the schedule backup we have scheduled the backup and we have also taken the two copies of backup so after that I have run one backup as also so we have last status backup status successful backup at the time like 11 1 1 15 pm like and the next backup is scheduled for 6 pm today and we have number of copy available is 3 and if we go and click on local backup you can see the all the activities which has been run on this server so we have one backup which is failed yesterday and we have uh, three backup which is successful so we have total three copy for backup and now you can see here all backup total three copies and latest backup oldest backup information if you want to click here you can see the backup time if you want to uh, store it by time you can see that we have latest backup of today and 12 uh, you can see at like this time 24 1 pm and click ok and here you can see view the schedule this is going to run on a start schedule and uh, this backup type which is like schedule backup and desk location where is the backup going to be and the uh, things are like system state backup and c drive system reserve these things and the last backup detail also you can see what what was taken so we have last backup description the volume the vss setting and backup and the data trans data transfer 24 gb uh, around 12.24 gb and we have a bare metal recovery so so good to know and if you have a uh, destination uses you can see three copy and uses spaces 12.177 uh, GB and capacity is here so you can see also the space by like uh, total space use you, space used by backup item space used by backup copies so we have three copies and uh, the, here is the uh, size which is uh, which is taken for the three backup copies it's almost not like uh, you can say 300 MB only so good to know and application you can see here is the application which we have taken by Active Directory we can see Active Directory registry and this so we can recover it so good to know click on recovery and here you can see use the uh, where you want to restore the backup for so this server backup is stored in another location you can see also this so I'm going to restore on this server only so click next and we have a backup copy like uh, on 23 we have one copy on 24 we have two copies here so whatever backup you want to take click next and here you can see the file and folders if you want to uh, recover only file and folder you can recover it from here so just the server name and the drives which has been taken and if you want to recover any file like if you go to logs C drive and just like we have a log folder here and like I want to show you just suppose we have deleted accidentally this all folder okay and now you can see there was nothing in log and I want to recover this so you can just select the folder and the files which you want to take recover so I'm going to select this and 
click next and original location and other location so we we can restore to original location also so click next and recover so it will recover one file only so click on it here you can see the recovery is completed we have recovered one file which we have just selected and recovered so if you want to recover again click on recovery this computer 24 the latest backup and files and folders and then select your drive select your folder click next and by default if you select the folder all the files has been selected click next an original location yes and here we have option override the existing version file if recovery version is latest so we, you you can choose this like create a copy of that have both version so click next and now you can see the all file is selected and click on recover so it will initiate the recovery for all the f all the files which which is under the this folder so let's take some time and now you can see the recovery uh, file recovery process and status is completed now if you see we have recovered all the files here from our windows server backup so good to know close it and go on recovery option this server only and we have go to select the latest version latest backup and we have uh, done this thing and now i'm going to select the volume if you want to select the volume you can also go ahead and select the volume because this this system have only the like system state recovery so we cannot restore the drive either i am going to show you the application recovery you can recover application that has been registered with windows server backup so click next and we have three options here like ad frs and registry so if you want to see the detail you can see the detail what ha what is taken by what backup has been taken by this so we have taken the windows anti ds file and under the registry you can also see the registry backup registry has been backed up so good to know if you want to like restore the ad backup then go ahead and recover to another location and i'm going to create one folder on my desktop so you can call it like ad restore click ok and you can re recover your files here that to that to database basically so you can see the completed so we have now if we go to desktop ad restore we have active directory and the ntds file we have the ntds.dat file and edb file that basically active directory database so and next if you want to recover the registry click on recovery this computer only So go here and application going to recover the registry only so click here and the location i'm going to create one folder at my desktop and call it reg okay click yes and recover so you can see the recovery uh, registry is being recovered recovery in process So it's completed go ahead and you can see the registry has been backed up here you can see the computer default security system everything is there so good to know and now if you go ahead and click on recover once again so also you can see the all the tasks which has been like application recovery successful the status of the recovery basically so if you click on recovery and go with the this server only and latest backup and if we go and click on system state you can restore just the system state so click next 
and original location perform so this server is basically my active directory server you can see the active directory and dns is installed here so you can also perform the authoritative restore for active directory files but this requires like backup contents active directory domain services which can be recovered only from computer it is started in directory service mode so i'm going to do this on my next video so for now if, if the machine is not active directory server then you can recover it from like here only you can reach to the system state also so for now this is all about the recovering the machine from windows server files folder application and system state as well as so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any question any uh, uh, any query related to this please post me on my given mail ids thank you once again bye bye